We saw how we can use the line tool to create straight lines, but if we want to create curved or freehand lines, uh, we'll have to use some different tools. Now in SketchUp, uh, we have under the draw menu a number of different tools. So under lines, we have the freehand tool, which allows you to draw freehand. And then we also have arcs. So we have a couple of different arcs as well as a pie shape. So let's take a look at the freehand tool first. Now we can select it here from the menu, or if we pull down from the toolbar, we can find this freehand tool. Now this tool works uh, pretty simply. All we have to do is left click and drag, and we can draw any shape that we want. We're not constrained to straight lines. Now when I let go, you'll see that uh, this particular shape is usually drawn flat, and also notice how it kind of squares it off. So if I were to select my freehand tool again and kind of move along this line, notice how this point kind of snaps. And each one of those is what's called an end point. So that end point is basically the end of a line segment. So each one of these curved freehand lines gets resolved into individual straight line segments. Now if we want, we could snap to those endpoints, left click and drag and draw some more shape and snap to the other side if we wanted to. And now that we have that shape, we can use the push pull tool to pull it into a 3D object. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and delete it. And now let's take a look at the arc tools. We've got a number of arc tools here under the draw arcs menu. We can also find them on the toolbar here. So let's go ahead and just work with it from the toolbar. Now the most basic one is the arc. And what we have to do here is we have to draw out a radius and then sweep that along an angle. Now notice here when I start this, it's actually asking for the number of sides. Now just like with the freehand tool, it will resolve your arc into straight line segments. And this is the number. So if you want to change that number, you can do that now. Now the first operation with this is to place this angle indicator here wherever you want the center of the arc to be and left click and then drag out a radius. Now this is very similar to the rotate tool but in this case we're dragging out a radius. So notice in the bottom right hand corner again we can type in any radius we want. Now I'm just going to left click to lock that down and once I left click again it locks down the actual arc and again we can specify the angle by typing in a number. So let's go through this one more time. Left click to set the center, drag, left click again to set the radius and then left click a third time to select the angle. Now if we want we can type in any of these numbers Let's try this one more time. I'm going to go ahead and left click. Let's drag this out to say a radius of seven feet and then sweep it to say an angle of 120. So now I have a radius that's seven feet in radius and is swept out over 120 degrees. Now the next arc tool is the two point arc. Now this works a little bit differently. First, we set out a base and then we sweep it up vertically. So it's almost like drawing the letter T. So I'm going to go ahead and set my first point here. And then notice how we're setting a length. This is the length of that first leg. So I left click here, and now I'm drawing the other part of that T to create a bulge. So this length here Will determine how much this bulges. So again we can type in numbers here. So if I left click here, left click here, we could type in say six feet and then here if we want we could type in three feet and that would give us an exact half circle. Now the next one is called the three-point arc and this is kind of looks like a Pac-Man in how it works. Basically what we do is we draw three points that determine an angle and then the arc is swept around the endpoints of that. So what we do is we set one point 
and then we set another point for the length and then we set another point for the angle and so what it's doing is it's sweeping through these points you see how this kind of looks like a little bit of a pac-man and if we wanted to we could go to the line tool snap to that and actually make a little pac-man now the final one is actually the pi. Now this is not really an arc because it's more than a line. It's actually a shape. And this works very similar to the arc. So we set a center point, sweep out a radius, and then sweep out an angle. But what this tool does is it actually draws in the rest and it creates this pi shape. And again, once it's a closed shape, we can use our push-pull tool to drag it into 3D. So those are some of the basics of how to create curved and freehand shapes.